Hello everyone, let us go through hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a red color oxygen carrying pigment present in the RBC. Structure of hemoglobin. Heme is composed of heme and globin. Heme is iron containing porphyrin in which iron is present in Fe plus 2 state. Globin is made up of 4 polypeptide chain 2 alpha and 2 beta. Different varieties of hemoglobin which are normally found are adult hemoglobin, hemoglobin A and fetal hemoglobin, hemoglobin F. Adult hemoglobin has sub varieties HbA and HbA2. In HbA polypeptide chain is alpha 2, beta 2 and in HbA2 polypeptide chain is alpha 2, delta 2. Fetal hemoglobin has globin chain alpha 2, gamma 2. It has higher affinity for oxygen but lifespan of such RBCs containing hemoglobin F is only 1 to 2 week. Factors controlling hemoglobin formation. Different factors like proteins, minerals, vitamins controls the hemoglobin formation. Proteins are required for globin synthesis. Minerals like iron is required for heme formation. Copper is required as it promotes the absorption, mobilization and utilization of iron. Calcium increases iron absorption and cobalt is required for vitamin B12 synthesis in GI tract. Vitamins like vitamin C, vitamin B12 and folic acid are required for synthesis of nucleic acid. Normal value of hemoglobin in newborn it is about 17 to 22 gram percentage in adult male it is about 14 to 18 gram percentage in adult females it is about 12 to 15.5 gram percentage. Functions of hemoglobin hemoglobin helps in transport of gases oxygen from lungs to the tissues and carbon dioxide from tissues to the lungs. It acts as acid base buffer. Now, catabolism of hemoglobin, fate of hemoglobin causes release of heme and globin. Globin goes to amino acid pull, heme will further catabolize and releases Fe plus 2 which can be reused for the hemoglobin synthesis or it can be stored in liver. Remaining part of heme will be oxidized and form biliverdin. Biliverdin by enzyme biliverdin reductase get converted into bilirubin. Inherited disorders of hemoglobin. First one is a sickle cell anemia where hemoglobin S is found. It is inherited Mendelian dominant disorder. In this, each beta polypeptide chain of HbA at position 6, one glutamic acid is replaced by valine. In sickle cell anemia, at a low oxygen tension or at a low pH at tissue level, hemoglobin precipitates into crystals within RBCs. So, it causes damage of the cell membrane which increases fragility of RBCs and crystal elongates and RBCs becomes shekel shaped. So, it decreases blood flow to the tissues. Now, thalassemia, it has two varieties, alpha thalassemia in which alpha chain of the globin is affected it is very rare. Beta thalassemia where beta chain of globin is affected. It is of two types major beta thalassemia and minor beta thalassemia. Minor beta thalassemia is much more commonly found. In major beta thalassemia it is due to homozygous genetic transmission. There is a total absence of beta chain and moderate to severe anemia and markedly elevated HBF level 
will be found. In minor beta thalassemia, there is heterozygous transmission and partial synthesis of beta chain will be there. It causes mild anemia and normal or slightly raised HBF level is found. Important points to remember. Why combination of heme with oxygen is called as oxygenation? Because after combination of heme with oxygen, iron in the heme remains as Fe2 plus state. So it is called as oxygenation and not oxidation. What are the disadvantages of free hemoglobin? Free hemoglobin can cause increase in viscosity and osmotic pressure of plasma, loss of free hemoglobin by the kidneys. Free hemoglobin can be destroyed by the tissue macrophage system. What is HbA1c? In patients of diabetes mellitus, some amount of HbA is non-enzymatically glycosylated to form HbA1c. What is the advantage of fetal hemoglobin? Fetal hemoglobin has greater affinity for oxygen. So, it can take large volume of oxygen at low oxygen pressure as compared to adult hemoglobin. This facilitates the movement of oxygen from maternal to fetal circulation. Thank you.